What's up? I'm Matt. This is my eighth stock speed run for the weekend of January 15th, 2022. Eight is an insane number. I usually don't go over five for each weekend, but since this is a holiday weekend, I decided to burn the midnight oil a bit. If you're unfamiliar with what a stock speed run is, as always, you can check this video's description for an explanation and also a disclaimer as to its content. One thing to note about that description is that even though it says that speed runs are usually 10 minutes, I decided to use these bonus videos to experiment with extending that time limit. So, the speed run will be for 15 minutes, with the last 5 minutes being what constitutes phase 2. Uh, let me know what you think of this longer format, and giddy up. Brasker. That is a... That's an M, right? Not an RN. Keming. Uh, Brascom. Let's see. Again, I don't like companies that you can't tell what they do just by their names. It's annoying. Subsidiaries produce it, uh... Thermoplastic resins. They do business in Brazil, United States, Europe, and... Wait, three? This is... Sorry, I'm getting... I just got confused. Because it's just three segments where it lists four countries. I guess a bunch of the United States and Europe together. That's a little strange. Uh, let's produce those sales chemicals. So chemicals mostly chemical company. Okay. Sorry, I got distracted by the picture of the pretty ladies. I'm only human. Wow, that's just some crazy revenue. Fifty-eight billion dollars. $52 billion! $58 billion! But... They can't seem to turn a profit. Wait, something doesn't, doesn't add up. Um, hmm. So apparently that was 2020. And 2019 to a degree. Uh, it looks like they've come roaring back in 2021 though. This quarter 2 specifically looks amazing. Much better. Okay, let me just do some quick math here. Let's see if I can bring up the calculator properly, even though I have failed at that in the past. Calculator. Yes. Because I want to do some quick maths. So, 18, 22, 26. Well, hold on a second. Uh, no, that's quarter. That's quarter four, 2020. 22, 26, 28. 22 plus 26 plus 28, and I know I'm not really rounding properly, but uh, this is this is fine for, for my purposes. That's 76 billion dollars. If I open this and I compare that to all previous years, again, assuming these numbers are correct, sometimes Yahoo fudges the numbers on these charts a little bit, but we can assume it's correct just for just for sake of argument. Uh, so let me bring up that calculator again. 76 billion dollars. Already it's, already, it's just three quarters into 2021, and it's doing significantly better than any year prior, at least in the last four years. Uh, I like that. That's promising. Uh, let me go back to the quarterly and start to... Uh, how do I... Is there a way to force this to be at the front? Keep on top. Yes. Okay, so I want to look at... Uh, let's see, 2.49... Plus 7.42 plus 3.54 13.45 billion when uh, in the past two years they've had negative earnings and in 2017 and 2018 even though they had positive earnings they didn't come anywhere close to having 13.45 and actually not all okay so if these numbers are correct not only are they only three quarters in 2021 have had made more more earnings and revenues in this year, excuse me, than all prior years, but also the ratio of earnings to revenues looks better too. Okay. I wonder if the chart reflects this. Kind of hard to say, but I'm going to say no, it does not. Let me get rid of this calculator. I'm going to say no, it does not.
Actually, hold on. I'm conf Wait a minute. I'm confused a little bit. Okay, I got confused about what year it is. It's 2022, but this is 2021, so this must be fiscal quarters then. Or, no, they could be calendar quarters, because the uh, fourth... If they're calendar quarters that match up with the calendar, then it would make sense that quarter four wouldn't be out yet, because that reporting... It's only 15 days, 17 days into January, so that wouldn't be reported yet. Still, on track for a very good, very good 2021. So, you know, given that, I do think the chart reflects that. People saw... The possibility for humongous upside in early 2021 bought in. Uh, it is. It has kind of stagnated a bit, despite the fact that, especially, especially this quarter too. I can't get over that. In fact, I'm surprised it hasn't continued to go up. I wonder what the deal is with that. Let me just take a look at these articles real quick. Uh, to sell 1.5 billion in Brascom stake. Eight hours ago, oh boy, this news is going to hit the market like a ton of bricks tomorrow. Holy crap. The controlling shareholders of Brascom are seeking to raise about $1.5 billion by selling shares in the petrochemical firm in what is expected to be one of Brazil's largest equity offerings this year. State, Ooh, state-owned oil producer. Uh, secondary, uh, secondary offer to sell as many as preferred bra How are they selling shares of Brascom? It says secondary, so is the second secondary offering the shares they already hold themselves? They can raise a combined 8.1. You know what I want to see? I bet there's a lot of talking conversations about this. I want to see what they have to say. Okay, no, no chatter about this event. That's too bad, I would've liked a little more insight. Car wash corruption probe? I can't even imagine what that is with a name that ridiculous. Fell as much as 5.1% in Sao Paulo on Monday, so the what I assume is the Brazilian exchange on the back of this announcement. Probably going to hit the American exchange tomorrow uh, pretty hard, because obviously today is Monday, MLK Day. Markets are closed. Predicting a drop in Brazil's offshore share offering uh, activity following a strong 2021. A bigger deal. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay, this throws a little bit of a wrench in me, in me liking those earnings. You know what, I'm gonna try and- ugh. Shares plunged on delayed Petrobras, Petrobras disposal. Actually, was this, um... Was this known on Friday? No. This was last month on delayed Petrobras disposal. What does this say? Consider second, considering secondary share offering, which they eventually did. So that was two months ago, they reported they were considering it. Reported high free cash generation approximately. That's good. I mean, the, the most recent quarters have been amazing, but now I'm kind of worried. Okay, that's that's adorable. Develop custom 3D printed canine quad cart for rescue dog. Aw, oh, that's so cute! I'm just gonna sit here and admire. I, I want. Oh, jeez. I want to read this article so bad, but I don't want to waste time. Plunge on Thursday after state-run oil pet said it had yet to decide. Plunge on Thursday. Can I see that in the chart? Is that? Can I? Can I is that noticeable? That might be. That might be this dip here. A competitive murder and acquisition process in an attempt to attract bidders for its stake in Brascom. Oh, I want to read about the dog with the thing. Oh, oh it's so cute! 
discuss potential opportunities, got to work conceptualizing and prototyping different designs. You like the state of the art scanning and virtual design software. Oh my goodness, this story is amazing. Anybody who's interested, I would recommend go checking out the story for yourself because this looks this looks super cute and inspiring. All right, back to serious business. They own 36.1%. How much of that 36.1% is that $1.5 uh, billion dollar stake? 36.1%. What's the... In fact, you know what? I can do that math here. Let me get that calculator up again. Also, holy shit, that's a low P.E. What the hell? God damn. Okay, you know what? I can do this math. Uh, in fact, you know what? I don't even know how many shares it is to do this math. Why, why are you not showing me... Where the hell's my mouse? Why are you not showing me the summary? Come on! What the... Mm. Okay. Okay. Let's just say $7.5 billion valuation, right? Let's multiply that by... 0. 0.361. This is how much value of the shares that, that uh, Petrobras owns, and they are getting rid of 1.5 billion. So they're getting rid of uh, a, little, a little over half. Yeah, this is gonna hit the market like a ton of bricks tomorrow, because all of a sudden now actually maybe not because come to think of it where are these shares going are they going on the brazilian exchange or the european or, or the american exchange or both selling their selling their stakes through the share offering in february Let me try to find more information about that. Because now I don't know where they're going. I guess that's Reuters from three days ago. Would that have affected things on Friday? Was that announced in time to affect things? January 14th, what day was that? That was, that's Friday. Right? That was Friday... yes. Let me go back and look at this chart again. Securities and Exchange Commission. I mean, that's... Uh... Oh, wait, here's the information I wanted. Two installments in Brazil and in the United States, according to the filing. We'll sell one uh, million classic preferred shares in Brat with me reserved by American depository shares, totaling around 8 billion, I don't know, magic Brazilian money on the basis of. So, what I want to know is because. Uh, so, so, this was known on Friday. This article was published on Friday, Ju January 14th, tw 2022, set, oh, 7.47 p.m. Which is not in time, what time, what time zone is, EST, yeah, so, not, so that was, this was published, uh, I'm gonna guess this is the this is the earliest announcement of this. 7 7.47 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That means that that if, if anybody was going to trade on this news, they had literally 13 minutes to, of after hours trading left to find this article, digest the contents, <laughs> and and take an action on it. That explains why the last after hours transaction was at 4.83. Or not 4 4.53. So, yes, I, in fact, do not believe that the American Exchange has reacted quite, uh, quite, uh, to this, to this news yet. Uh, the Brazilian Exchange has, and it didn't take it too kindly. I wouldn't be surprised to see something similar happen to the happen on the United States Exchange when markets open tomorrow. 
So even though... Even though I like this, I really, really like those earnings. There, there were some articles here indicate, indicating a small potential slowdown, but I, I think that they're probably doing pretty good. Uh, any other day, if I had looked at this last weekend, perhaps, I would give it a buy. But because I'm looking at it now, today, and I have this news in front of me, Probably more of a hold, because I know it's going to drop tomorrow. 100% going to drop tomorrow. By how much? I'm not too sure. Brazilian Exchange said it dropped uh, dropped 5%. I wouldn't be surprised to see a similar drop tomorrow on the, on the American Exchange. On the, on, on the old NYC! Yeah, so... Any other weekend that I was to look at this, I would probably say bye... But because I know it's going to drop tomorrow, most likely, I am going to say hold. With the caveat that once it gets past the post-announcement drop and or volatility, it could potentially be a buy again. But right now, at this point in time, as I am looking on it, on Martin Luther King Day, January 17th, 2021, it is, it is a hold because of what I predict to, to happen tomorrow. So, that's, uh, we'll see how it turns out. I, I'm, I am very interested to see what happens to this tomorrow. I'm going to be tracking this. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put this on my phone right now to, uh, to make sure I look at this tomorrow because I am very interested what's going to happen. It's like, it's like, it's, it's like, it's like knowing the future almost. It's knowing the future, but you can't do jack shit about it because there's no trading yet pain in the butt. All right, you know, that's enough that's enough rambling. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.